Hi guys, it's Miss Dora from Project Return. I'm coming at you this week on October the 29th. It is the start of the holiday season and so I just wanted to bring some information to everyone that I find helpful and a good reminder. Um, this time of year we normally are overwhelmed with maybe holiday parties, events, getting get-togethers, family events, or just the hustle and bustle of the holidays. We put pressure to probably hand out cards or gifts or see people that we haven't seen all year long. And a lot of times that can cause some stress. And so uh, it's normally called the holiday blues. And the holiday blues can be something as simple as overscheduling yourself. Like you've told somebody, hey, I can be here at six, but then you have another party at eight or another event at nine. And that's just a lot for someone to take on. Uh, during this time, especially with us all having to deal with COVID in the past two years, um, it's possible to th figure this out and navigate it as long as you're self-aware and aware of what you're planning each day. So here are some nine tips how to manage the holiday blues, okay? So the first one is limit your alcohol intake. Alcohol is a depressant and so it can exacerbate your feelings of depression. So be mindful of what you're taking into your body and drink more water. <laughs> uh, number two is get plenty of sleep. A lot of times we might have insomnia or we might have just everything on our mind about all the things that we have to do. Um, so it's good to try and just maybe get away from the screens, put down plan your sleep plan the time that you're going to go to sleep that's a good thing it should be maybe nine o'clock no one no more visitors ten o'clock no more calls things like that will help you be able to realize what's important and that's your own self-help number three learn to say no I get this all the time, like as a mom, we have birthday parties, as a student, I would have papers, as a family member of a big family, I would have events all over Tampa, and sometimes you have to be okay with saying, I'm sorry, I won't be able to attend, but I'll send you a gift, or I'm sorry, I won't be able to attend, I won't be able to come at all, or, you know, participate. Um, I think sometimes if we don't learn our own boundaries it's hard to establish boundaries with others so saying no sometimes is hard to you know you don't want to let people down but it's a good and necessary thing so learn to say no if you don't have the time or don't have the resources to contribute to whatever someone's asking number four be open to new traditions so growing up, we might have this ideology of what Christmas or Thanksgiving or even Halloween, what they should look like. The end of the year, going into the new year. But sometimes it's not always the case that you're going to have to fulfill it that way. Me personally, I wanted my family to learn that being um, spending time with each other is the most important thing so that's what I highlight as far as the holidays it's not about the gifts for me it's not about the presents and the wrapping paper it's not about all the money that you could possibly spend for me it's letting my family know throughout the year I've gotten to spend time with you and this is what I still want to do and I enjoy spending time with you um, so I think that is a really good adoption for me but it doesn't work for everyone sometimes it can be something as easy or simple as saying i'm not going to buy gifts this year i'm going to make something or i'm not going to buy things this year we're going to go and maybe have a trip together a vacation or a staycation things like that an event might be a little bit more long lasting in the memory than some type of back massager that's probably going to be re-gifted anyways so keep that in mind too <laughs> people do re-gift things number five get support when mourning a loved one unfortunately a lot of us have gone through a lot of loss this year in the past two years um and this is a big reminder of those times you know normally when you would be spending time with that person or those people and or seeing them or 
you know, you might see their children and it reminds you, remind you of them and stuff like that. So it's okay to be honest in your feelings and saying, listen, this is a really hard season for me. And I just need a little bit more help and, you know, consolence than probably most other days. And I think that's okay to, to admit that you're human and allow yourself to be human. Number six, spend time with your loved ones. So the ones that we do have here, if you have a healthy relationship, don't force yourself to be in a situation that you know is toxic or healthy. But if you have healthy relationships within your family unit or within a unit that you deemed as your family, I love people who do Friendsgiving. I've always wanted to do like the big table with all the friends. But for me, that's not possible. So... I and my son, we love to plan like little barbecues because we live in Florida with our friends coming over during like Halloween and things like that. So it's always good to celebrate in whatever way you do. Even with Veterans Day coming up, keep in mind a way to remember our veterans. Um, in my town when we grew up, we had a parade and that was something we did every year and it was so amazing. But I moved away from that town and due to COVID, some parades have been canceled or postponed and are probably just now getting back into the groove of things. So you might have to still alter how you celebrate some of your holidays that you're used to celebrating maybe the way you did when you grew up. Number seven, exercise regularly. <laughs> so. We love Thanksgiving. We love that one day where we cook for hours and then we sit down and eat for maybe 20 minutes. I don't even think it's 20, but okay. <laughs> don't forget your routines. Don't forget to get up early. Go for a walk. Don't forget to go to bed like you're supposed to. Don't forget to don't do not get overwhelmed with the holiday. Don't feel like you have to keep up the pressure of the holiday. And I think that will be a go a long way. Exercising is to each his own, but it is always good to keep moving around and be active. Number eight, do something fun to get over a recent breakup. So sometimes things happen during this time of year for whatever reason. And so if you're going through that type of loss as well, be mindful of that. Be mindful of your triggers. Be mindful that you are lonely and not necessarily needing to be with that person. Be aware of what lonely is versus being alone. And then also make sure you have a strong support system. Call a friend, call a family member, instead of calling that person that might have not been the best situation for you. Don't go back to a situation just because it was comfortable. So keep that in mind throughout this holiday season. Sometimes you'll see those romantic comedies on TV and it'll make you want to call somebody, but don't. Keep it in mind as to why you left in the first place. And number nine, avoid overeating. Many of my friends at the at Project Return have already said, I'm so excited for Thanksgiving. I look forward to Thanksgiving. It's my favorite holiday. And many of us will say, well, what's your favorite food? Or what's your favorite thing to do for Halloween, uh, for Thanksgiving, excuse me. Most people are gonna be talking about what we're eating. Um, so just be mindful that it's just one day. Um, be mindful that you can cook pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie on any day of the week, any day of the month. Um, and it's not just limited to Thanksgiving that you're forced to sit down and eat Thanksgiving soul food type things. So be mindful of your diet. Be mindful of exercising again. Be mindful of your calorie intake as far as what's healthy for you. Don't... Um, I guess the word is overemphasize on it, uh, but just keep it in mind at the forefront that you are still trying to be healthy. You're trying to be your healthy self, the best version of yourself, and don't let one or one month or three months catch you up and get you off track. And then force to have to make a resolution in January that you're probably going to break or not keep come February. So th this again is Miss Dora. I hope you found this informational or helpful. There's are nine things to keep you from developing the holiday blues. Thanks again. Bye.